we're back, everybody, and she's still mad. <laughs> cannot believe it. No. Ugh. All right. Let's see if I can do what needs doing. <clears throat> So what do you what do you think about our story and our journey now? <laughs> uh. And yes, that twist that the bad end is the canon ending. That's the big thing I didn't want you to get spoiled. That and the fact that Roger Baker was actually Albert Simon this whole time, because there's a lot of places that will actually freaking mention that even on the wiki for certain enemies freaking they'll be like hey spoilers for this that and the other boss and some shit Upper right, lower right, mid left. Why would I ever want to use Deathblade Jiru? Seventh key, monkey paw, and Kieran scale. So I'll use Kieran scale and seventh key to try and take this boss down. Problem is, will I be able to freaking do any damage or do I actually need to freaking level him up? Let's find out. Oh, it's Keith. <clears throat> Keith, there's something I want to tell you. The other day when I was collecting nuts in the woods, a golden light burst from the castle. The light stayed around for a little while, then went back to the castle. What could it have been? A golden light? I wonder if it could be... So, after, like, after the stream, I'll freaking, I'll let you... You, so, this character we're about to go see, you've already seen before in some of the videos I showed you of the sequel. So I'm just gonna freaking I'm not gonna actually beat this enemy because I'm not high enough level, but I will show you that when you are high enough level, this is how you do it. Okay. Uh wrong spot. Well, this is a way to do it. Obviously, most ninety nine percent of the um, ninety nine percent of what this fight's going to be is having the mind's eye equipped. Because this is a solo Keith fight. The boss has very little HP, and you get six free turns, and then you lose. So you have to do about fifteen hundred damage over the course of six turns. Which, if you have the like a seventh key or a fifth key, and you get like freaking five free turns for one attack, it's pretty easy. As long as you have enough attack power. Ah, you have finally returned. It's been a long time, brother. So my hunch was right. It didn't seem possible, but that voice is unmistakably my brother's. Hey, buddy, aren't those bats? 
You bet, I'm a bat. Something wrong with that? Huh? Hmm? He's a vampire, right? That's just a bat. It's even shiny. That's right, buddy. My color's a bright, shiny gold. Trying to make something of how I look, bud. Huh? Huh? Is that really your brother? He looks more like my brother. Shut your trap. It was too noisy outside to sleep, so I decided to get up and fly around the village. My brother, becoming a bat is fine, but what if you can't get back to your former shape? Shut up! You got a problem with bright, shiny gold. You make fun of bright, shiny gold, and I'll make you wish you hadn't. Got that? Huh? Um, I hate to tell you, but isn't that shiny deal kind of out of style? Arrgh, shut up, shut up, shut up! Keith! Yes, brother. Don't yes, brother, me. I was waiting here today so I could give you a special present. Here, take it. A sword has appeared in Keith's hand. You've received the demon sword, Tirving. It's the legendary magic demon sword our family has owned through generations. You got it. When our forebears sensed the world might be destroyed, they came to me. Bestow this upon the one who shall be our warrior, they said. I don't know what to say. It is unimaginably, it is an unimaginable honor I humbly accept. Not so fast. The sword isn't yours for the taking. You've got to earn it by showing me you can handle it. Your test will be a duel with me. If you win, you will be master of the demon sword. If you lose, you will die a true death. Unguard! Yeah, <laughs> bet. Caw! <laughs> I'll wait just five turns. Give it your best shot. Ah, you can't. You actually can't use items here. I forgot about that. I don't remember where the freaking hitbox is. <laughs> Are you blinded by my shiny golden coat? What's the matter? Is the demon sword too much for even our best swordsman to handle? I can't remember where the fuck they were. That was five turns, so get out of here. No, wait, I'll let you try just one more time. Visit time's up. Say your prayers. Where the hell is the hitbox? I can't remember. Alright, we're gonna fight him again with a little bit of a different setup. I have Iron Clogs, Demon Earrings, and Mind's Eye for just maximum damage and less stupidity. Oh, that sucked. Fast enough. Oh, screwed that up big time. Oh, come on. I am hitting the right freaking spot on it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I was hitting the right fucking spot, but whatever. Oh, I really should have fucking saved. Like that rude. Whatever. That's how you do it. Just be a little bit more remembering where the freaking hitbox is on the damn thing, and you can do it incredibly easily. Mm. Unlike me. I freaking, I'm so used to Yuri's fucking one.
Yeah, I'm so used to the fucking Yuri's. I guess if there's plenty of time left after the freaking... After we do the actual dungeon, then we'll go back and just freaking get and knock it out. Hmm. All right, so with Marguerite in the party, if you come in here, Go into the confessional. Okay, if I pray. Or okay if I pray. Hey, Sonny Boy, mind if we have a talk over there? What is it? Go in there, like that other time. You know, I know all about it, right, Father Yuri? Alright, we gotta play priest one. We gotta play priest again. It seems someone is in the neighboring confessional. Hmm? Um. Father, would you listen to me for just a few minutes? The world today seems to be heading toward disaster. No, no, I'm not talking about Albert. The countries known as the Powers are pouring massive sums of money into building up their militaries. Like children vying for the biggest collection of toys. And you know, at first I thought I would just use Yuri and the others. I thought I could use their remarkable powers to benefit our nation. Yes, just like the Japanese army was trying to do. But the more I watched that reckless Yuri in action, the more ashamed I started to feel. I mean, Yuri really isn't thinking about anything. <laughs> He's not thinking of a national interest, or of politics, or of money, or of anything he has to gain or lose. He just sees that girl, and he sees all the forces lined up against her. And so, he protects her. Nothing more. Just like some comic book hero, you know. <laughs> but I'm a little jealous. I mean, the really important things in life aren't about profit and gain, right? I think maybe I'll start searching for those things, too. The truth is, I'd really like to search for them together with him, but... Oh, forget I said that. Thanks for listening to all my silly talk. It makes me so excited. All better now. Here, this is for you. A tiny box was slid into the small window. You received the pearl ring. Bye-bye now. Father Yuri once again. Yuri gets around. Here she comes. What's up? Your face is all red. It's nothing. <laughs> So, that's it. Let's go already. That was a bit too spicy. Ha. Oh, well. So, that's a little nice extra little scene. Yeah. Pearl rings. Kind of eh. Cuts water damage in half, so it's nice, but eh, it's... Man. The real big thing is, let me see if it's this guy. Of course not, like, eh. So, this is the lottery member you have to win the big, 
the grand prize of to get Marguerite's best weapon, the 10 gauge. And it spins stupid fast. It's tough. Mm. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother trying to go actually go for that. I'm I'm a stubborn old bastard. Yep, I am a stubborn son of a bitch. You know? Hmm. Even though the game's over and I have no reason to do this. You're going. I'm going. <laughs> Upper right, ooh, yeah, no, it's freaking way further down. Like, if I can just, if I can just hit two of them each turn, I win. So almost immediately, and then super far lower right. Like, it's not even that hard to do. I don't know why I can't do it. Like, I don't know why I can't remember the positioning of Keith's stuff. I guess because I don't have the muscle memory from just freaking playing the entire damn game with him. Because no matter which weapon you equip them with, the hit markers on their ring stay in the same locations. They just get wider or narrower depending on how you upgrade it. right and then freaking so like two o'clock five o'clock nine o'clock two five and nine two five and nine two five nine two fifty nine Mind's Eye is a spectacular accessory if you can freaking get the muscle memory for the character you have equipped to. And it's very easy to get the muscle memory for Yuri because you play 90% of the game with Yuri. <clears throat> What do you know? Assigning it, assigning it to a clock face was actually the key. I am the master of time. <laughs> I guess. All I had to do was just assign it to a clock face, and I win. <laughs> 
Excellent work. The magic demon sword is now yours, my brother, Keith. You must live to see the future. To see the future with your trusted friends. Poof. Ah! The power. Oh. Ah, it feels so wonderful. I feel so truly alive at this moment. That's Keith's voice, by the way. I've never felt such a rapturous feeling of bliss. He's not handsome anymore. To live. To peer into tomorrow's tomorrow. That is my deepest desire. You, my friends, have liberated me from the prison of endless tedium. And no matter what may await me in the days and months ahead, I shall never regret it. With this sword in my hand, I shall travel with you all to the very end. To be witness to the tomorrow that we create with our very own hands. Yeah, that's Keith. <laughs> he... All right, our preparations are complete. Let us be going. What is what? Uh, what is up with these brothers? This made this made a power up possible. Are you kidding? Huh? He's all roaring to go. What do you think about your boy Keith now? <laughs> What'd you think of that voice? <laughs> uh... Yeah. I know. <laughs> that voice, that name coming out of that face, just doesn't fit, man. Uh, oh, Keith. That's Keith, everybody. Everybody, Keith. But yeah, freaking, it's just that easy. Assign it to a clock face, and you win. <laughs> I am the master. Like I told, like, freaking, I told you, dear, I am the king of clock. Yeah, I know. But, I know. But you just didn't know quite how how strong it was. How much clock? All the clock. Fuck, what series again? Okay, yours is still pretty easy to remember. Alright, we'll go unlock the next dungeon, and then that'll be the last thing we do. Next time, of course. So, next video will be the last video. Because I don't really, I don't really want to show, like, winning the pit fights. Right. Like, you get, you get some pretty good accessories and stuff from it, but kind of... In my opinion, kind of not. Eh. I don't know. I might. If we have time, maybe. No, no, actually, because it's just a bunch of solo fights. I don't really care to do those. Because I'd have to do them with everybody. Hey, long time no see. Have you tried talking to that guy there? He's new in town. And he just mumbles to himself all the time. It gives me the creeps. Ah, help me, please forgive me, Laura. What? You're an exorcist? If so, please help. Just a little ways from here, there's a house cursed by a terrible poltergeist. Can you suppress the spirit? I'll do anything. I have lots of money. I have Alice in the party. Yeah, I have Alice in the party. Problem is, I... I want Zhuzhen in the party, too. So once again, Laura is a terrible ghost. Remind you of anybody from Guardian Tales that's also a ghost named Laura? Like Laura the ghost? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh I I I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh I I fucking love this game. All right. All right. Next episode will be the last one. We're going to go exercise the dollhouse and get Alice's best weapon, even though we don't need to because we have proven we can easily smack Albert around with minimal to zero issues. Because 
Yuri is kind of over-fucking-powered. Till then. Till then.